Hey everyone, welcome to Divine Conversations and welcome to your readings for October 2019. Thank you so much for tuning in. Right off the bat, I want to go ahead and give a big old shout out to my Libras out there. We are officially in Libra season here in Western astrology. So ha very, very happy birthday to the Libras out there. I also want to go in and slip in a little uh, early little happy birthday to the uh, October Scorpios. Yes, happy birthday to you guys. We will be entering your season next. So please keep in mind that these are general readings. So please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Also keep in mind that because these are general readings, the situations can go either or, okay? It can go either way. Now, I am specifically speaking to the zodiac sign in question, so mostly the message is going to be for them. But if you are cross-watcher, say, for example, or you are what you are you do have the sign that the, that is in question in the reading that you're watching and yet the story that i'm telling is flipped is vice versa then go ahead and flip it for yourself okay place it as it fits into your life but please be very careful not to place things or try and force things that don't fit into your story or your situation into the into positions because that's just going to confuse you and throw you off okay so another thing that i want to mention um uh, oh, first, actually, what I want to mention is I'm doing a little bit something a little bit differently this month. Um, I had been using the Sacred Rebels Oracle for a few months, which was doing great. But because we're now in fall and it's October, I wanted to change it up a little bit. Um, and I got the brilliant inspiration to use the Fairy Forest Oracle deck this month. And I'm really super excited for you guys to see what comes out. Because in some of these readings, they're all pre-recorded um, before I record this this intro but uh for some of these readings the oracle guidance that comes out from this deck is so spot on it's a little scary <laughs> okay um also the other thing that i want to mention especially for those of you that are new if you are new to the channel what's up thank you so much for tuning in welcome to the family but here at divine conversations we do not focus on love yes sometimes love will come out uh if necessary and I, and in no way am I trying to stop that from happening. But the general focus or the main focus here on Divine Conversations is to focus on bringing yourself into a sense of union with yourself, bringing to yourself into a sense of wholeness with yourself, and also just having a conversation with spirit, all right? So what's coming through in these messages for the monthlies, even for the dailies, if you check out Morning Coffee, the messages that come through are just a conversation. What does spirit have for you at that time what does spirit want you to know for that time period or that cycle in your life that you're going through all right with that said keep in mind that all of these readings are timeless yes so just because this is dated for the month of october it doesn't mean it has to resonate for you in october you could come across this reading in february of 2020 and beyond and it may still resonate for you okay time is an illusion and energies are fluid all right so just take it as it resonates if it resonates for you at that time then take it if it doesn't don't worry about it come back later maybe it will all right, guys. <sighs> so with that said, I think let's just get straight to it. Yeah. <laughs> hey there, Capricorn. Welcome to your reading for October 2019. Thank you so much for tuning in. So let's get straight into it. You guys are going through something, aren't you? You have the five of swords with the nine of wands. This is your pre shuffle here. I feel like something just happened. Um, combativeness is what I'm hearing. And this could have been at work. Um, there was some sort of backstabbing, cheating, lying, stealing, something like that. It could have been at work. Um, it could have been something done to you. Um, or it could have been something that you fed into. Okay. And, and I feel, because I'm getting an energy of you may have fought back in some way. Which turned out to be a lose-lose situation anyway. Like it wasn't, it wasn't a good situation to begin with, but then because you, it, it, cause I'm getting an energy of being fed up with this nine of wands energy and not wanting to take it anymore. And that may have caused you to lash out in some way in retaliation, which may have come back to bite you in the ass somehow. All right. But ultimately whatever we're talking about here, it's, it, it's, it's not as bad as you think or not all is lost or some good is going to come out of it or everything, basically everything's going to be okay. And it could just be that now you have the illumination, the understanding to put better, greater, blah, 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 to put greater boundaries in place. Seven of wands. 
This, I'm feeling like for some of you, this was literally a lesson in boundaries, protecting yourself. And it looks like with the sun here, you got you you learned the lesson in the sense that it, it, the situation has been illuminated enough for you to say, oh, OK, that's what I have to do differently now. And that's why this is saying to me or it could could be why this is saying to me that actually this is not as bad as you think. It might be a lose lose situation. You might have come across, come back, come out of there with, you know, a, fr a few broken bones, a few lesions here or there. But. You might have to get a few stitches here or there, but ultimately a good is coming of it, all right? Lessons are being learned, boundaries are being put in place, Caps, okay? Okay. I do feel like for some of you specifically that has to do with work. And that might be because Capricorn, your energy is very um, business oriented, is very work uh, oriented. Um, you are ruled by Saturn. Uh, ooh. Okay. Um, I also see you guys as the, um, the, the, like the CEOs of the Zodiac. So it might be why that's coming through, but also for some of you, this could be work. Um, like your job, maybe your career trajectory, especially if you're an entrepreneur, this would be, um, this definitely would resonate and would be really, really good because now you're putting better boundaries in place for your own business. And that's beautiful. Um, but anyway, take it as it resonates. But now we have the Knight of Pentacles with the King of Wands. So being sure of yourself is good thing, is a good thing, okay? Slow and steady wins the race. I, I really want, I really, what I want to say about this is remain confident. Three of cups, celebration. There might be some sort of reconciliation. Maybe, now if you lost a job, because I was getting, I was picking that up specifically for some of you or for someone you may have lost your job because of this, uh, but ultimately that might be a good thing because maybe you didn't want to be working there any longer and whatever. And that five of swords energy could have been you staying there for way too long. And finally shit popped off and now you're out of a job. But that three of cups says, um, and the sun says, um, first of all, isn't that what you've been asking for? Ten of cups. First of all, isn't that what you've been asking for? Second of all, this is actually a good thing because now you're out of that toxic environment. Wheel of Fortune at the bottom of the deck, y'all. Okay. All right, hey, I mean, I'm just saying, y'all, I'm just the messenger here, okay? Girl, please. <laughs> All right, let's give this, let's clear this out, and then we're gonna get into the rest of the reading for you here. Just checking on my mic action. All right, for my cappy cap. For my Capricorns, let's see what we've got for the month of October for you, Capricorn. Hi, Spirit. Please make me a clear channel for all Capricorns, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for the month of October 2019. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, guys, five shuffles. Let's see what we've got here. For my Capricorns, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. For the month of October, 2019. This is shuffle number three. We've got four. And a five. <laughs> All right, Capricorn. Let's cut the deck. Boop. All right. Overall energy. You've got the eight of wands. And that's funny because the eight of wands was poking out of the deck before. What had come out? What had come out? The Knight of Pentacles? I don't know. Oh, with the Wheel of Fortune. Yes, it was the Ten of Cups had fallen out, I believe. I think, whatever. But the Wheel of Fortune was on the bottom of the deck, and the Eight of Wands was poking out from the side. All right? This is, okay, 
first, what I'm getting here is this is clear and open, clear, open, and honest communication that sets the record straight. Ooh, I just heard that. Okay. Or this could be um, clear and open air to make a move of some sort. Okay. Underneath the Eight of Wands, you have setting the record straight. Justice. Underneath that. Ooh, clear and honest communication. The Knight of Swords. Followed by ha <laughs> the page of pentacles i like it starting over starting a new a new commitment a new job a new career path a new environment a new chance a new start a level up all that kind of stuff there also could be um yeah there could be a, a new commitment maybe a new employee or yes a new job a new position within your job but i'm also feeling a new agreement of some sort and really, the biggest thing I'm feeling here, this is still business oriented, but the thing, the thing, the biggest thing that I'm feeling here is it could be with the same people, the same environment, maybe the same team that you were in. It's just that something was reorganized. And maybe whatever this situation was in the past that we picked up on in the overall, in the pre-shuffle, in, in, in the pre-shuffle, in the beginning of this, the, the video here, especially with the sun being coupled with that, something has come to light. Some, there's a new understanding because the sun, yes, the sun is the most optimistic card in the deck, but it's also because it's the sun, the sun gives light, sheds light. So the sun can also represent illumination, seeing something clearly where something may have been hidden or obscured in the past or not quite understood or not quite visible or or you know whatever in the past now we see it bright and clear as day okay so i feel like there's a reorganization here within a business within a business community uh within a business partnership it doesn't have to just be business though it really can be anything but for some reason capricorn that's what's coming through for you the most i guess that's where your mind is oriented right now for the most part, and usually is where your mind is, or uh, whatever. Again, I see Capricorn as like the, the CEO of the Zodiac, so very business oriented, but we're getting a heavy business vibe here today, so, okay, cool. Just be careful of this Knight of Swords energy, all right, because this is pretty volatile. This tends to be shoot first, ask questions later, or it's just very aggressive, so fights could come out. Now, you could be very stern or someone could be very stern with what they have to say. There may be a, a, a sort a, a sense of urgency in it. OK, but just still just be careful with this Knight of Swords energy. Don't go swinging that sword around willy nilly, just cutting people up for shits and giggles. That's not going to help you. Obviously, it's not going to help anybody. Yes. <laughs> OK, cool. Let's get into the rest of the reading here, Capricorn. First half, second half of the reading. You could also look at it as first half, second half of your month. Take it however resonates. Yes. First set of surrounding energies for you, Capricorn, in the first half of your reading. You've got the star. All right. Wish fulfillment, healing, faith. Trust the cycle. Trust your inner guidance, Capricorn. Especially if you're in a position where you are starting completely new. Like you're literally completely starting over. Um, you've got a new opportunity. You've got a new job. You've got a new career trajectory, whatnot, whatever. Trust it. Because, yes, it's going to be fairly dark in the beginning. All right, but there is a light guiding you here, and that is your intuition. Trust your intuition, all right? Now, in terms of a situation that is reorganizing itself, like you're staying in the same place, but you're just there's reorganization going on, things are going to feel a little chaotic. Things are going to feel a little weird. Things are going to feel a little uncomfortable. You may be out of your comfort zone. You, you know, you, you may not be able to see clearly exactly where things are heading, but you got to, woo, you got to trust the process, okay? Everything is going to work out exactly as it needs to. And in the event that there are some more hiccups or road bumps, you know, along the path, I mean, I guess you could come to expect that at this point, right? It's all going to serve to help make things better. So just trust the process. The star is coupled with the three of pentacles. Just focus on working together. Okay, focus on the teamwork, focus on the balancing, focus on the, I heard, inner union or self-union, which would then translate into self-mastery, which is also what the Three of Pentacles represents. 
other than entrepreneurship and teamwork, okay? So especially if you're, ooh, all right. So now especially if you're in a position, you're one of those individuals that has now left the, the, um, the general or the common workforce to start on your own new endeavor to start a new, start a new business or maybe even a new career path or whatnot. Just focus on the work. Focus on your goals. Focus on staying balanced. Focus on doing the inner work or or or, or cultivating the self mastery. I do feel like you're going in the right direction here. Justice is being served. It's in your overall energy. Okay, Cap. Second set of surrounding energies for you in the first half of your reading here, Capricorn, you have, you're on the right path, Capricorn, the chariot. I just heard set the record straight again. So some of you, somebody had an argument at work and it had been pent up, like it had been building. And finally, either you couldn't hold it in anymore or you were like, fuck it, I'm not holding this shit any in. in anymore i'm actually going to give you a piece of my mind five of swords energy okay but it looks like it's turning out for your better for the better because when you did that even though it was combative and even though it was destructive and even though it was reactionary you were in alignment or at least now you're in greater alignment with what it is you truly desire to move towards the chariot okay that's what i'm feeling here chariot is coupled with the high priestess my, 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 look at all this major arcana you have here, Capricorn. Justice, the star, the chariot, the high priestess. Follow your intuition. And actually, some of you may have had to do that a long time ago, but you didn't. You were trying to be a good little worker bee <laughs> and not allow your grievances to get, a, to get the best of you, but they ended up getting the best of you anyway because you kept sweeping them under the rug and then once that blew over once the lid on that blew then the universe was like well damn why didn't you do that before when it wasn't so destructive but whatever it doesn't matter you're here now let's keep going also getting back to the situation or scenario in which you are um you're restructuring, reorganizing your business, your, 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 with your employees, your partners, whatnot, whatever. As long as you stay balanced and focused, and as long as you stay in alignment, what it is you're, what it is you are truly looking to develop or achieve, instead of allowing yourself to fluctuate back and forth between being in alignment and being out of alignment, and now you're thinking about all the worst case scenarios and all the hiccups and all the things you still need to do, blah, blah, blah. Nope, get back into that alignment. And trust that you're going in the right direction. Trust that your intuition is leading you there. Trust that the universe is leading you there. You have the high priestess and the star. Both of those cards are talking about faith. Both of those cards are talking about you are not going to know all the details as you uh, before you get there. You're going to learn them as you move along. Allow yourself to do that. You got to trust us here. We know how practical you are, Capricorn, but that is going to be your downfall. You have to trust us. Your challenge in the first half of your reading here. Boop, the Ace of Pentacles. That new beginning. I do kind of feel like you're chasing it, but it's coming through as a challenge here because this is what you're manifesting. This is what you're working on creating. A new opportunity, a new commitment, a new structure, a new, a new way of being, whatnot, whatever, a new, a new business practice, a new, you know, a new business structure, whatever. And again, guys, this doesn't have to just be about business. OK, if this is resonating for you, but it doesn't have to do with like with business, like, for instance, if it's resonating with you, but it has to do with love, then take it that way. All right. Business is the heavy, the, the, the strongest vibration or that I'm feeling. And it's coming. There are a lot of pentacles coming through here, so it really could be that, but it doesn't have to be. This is a general reading. OK, the ace of pentacles is coupled with. Ah, the moon now. See, but this is why it's challenging, because you can't see clearly told you between the star the high priestess and now the moon more major arcana by the way but you are mo you are you are manifesting something new ace of pentacles and you can't quite see everything surrounding it you can't quite see you may not even be able to see how it's even going to come together but you know you have the inspiration the drive the 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 the, the focus to do it go with that allow things to unfold as you move forward 
Yes, this is in fact a challenge. Creating something, manifesting something when you can't quite see everything clearly, especially for an earth sign, okay? Card now, 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 Capricorn, you are a cardinal earth sign, so this, so these types of things are a little bit easier for you. But then again, the practicality of the earth uh, resonance or the earth element can circumvent this kind of thing. I know that doesn't quite logically make sense, especially the ego is going to have a field day with that. But trust me, don't let practicality get in the way and kill what could have potential to come through. Okay. I'm not telling you to be all completely willy nilly, but I'm asking you or a spirit at least is asking or guiding you to remain in an open minded state of mind. In order to allow things to come through, then when the idea or when the vision comes through, then you can be practical about it. But in terms of letting it happen, you have to stay free and open. Okay. Closing message or potential outcome in the first half of your reading here, Capricorn, you have the Hermit, more major arcana. You have major arcana in every step of the way so far. The Hermit represents uh, inner wisdom, inner light. Uh, ooh, I just heard the path of released ex resistance. Okay. But also the Hermit represents taking, uh, uh, being on a path of, inner understanding okay some of you may be walking alone some of you may be a lone leader here some of you may need to be drawing on your own inner wisdom your own inner guidance your own inner light to lead the way for others here ceo of the zodiac i mean come on And especially if you are embarking on a new journey, like if you're if you're starting your own business or something, you have got to let your inner light guide you. Which also says that you're not going to necessarily know all of the circumstances ahead of time. You got to follow through. You got to trust it. And honestly, that's kind of what the the hermit represents. The more you walk a path of and of, of of inner understanding of self-awareness that's what i was looking for the path of self-awareness you begin to trust yourself and your intuition and your inner light more and more and more regardless of how much you actually know about how things are going to turn out or what to expect or whatnot whatever you the more you become comfortable with your own self and your own guidance system your inner light the more comfortable you become with stepping out of your comfort zone or doing something new or going in a new direction because if you're doing that, you're following your own inner guidance and your own inner guidance is not going to lead you astray. It's only ever going to lead you to places and circumstances that are going to help either bring your manifestations in or help you learn things that clear away blockages from bringing your manifestation in. Okay. The hermit is coupled with the empress. Ah, oh, beautiful. Fertility up the wazoo. Can you say abundance? Because I sure can. Also, <laughs> also the high, the, I'm sorry, the empress here talks about um, gestation and birthing. So I do feel like you guys are, are, are birthing something new, but it's coming from your inner sense of light. It's coming from your internal reality. It's coming from your internal knowing. I just heard the path of least resistance again. You know, honestly, the path of least resistance absolutely would be the path that your own intuition, your own inner light, or the universe is guiding you towards right now, but you may not recognize that. You may not want to believe that, actually. Change is coming, the hermit and the high priestess, but also that change is coming in the form of a brand new manifestation of something. Beautiful. Okay, getting into the second half of your reading here. First set of surrounding energies for you, Capricorn. Oh, shit. The tower. I mean, excuse me, that's really not that much of a surprise, given all the stuff we've been talking about here. What is the tower? The tower is a moment in which destruction happens. 
something comes crashing down. The universe, the hand of the universe comes in and completely wipes something out of your way that was once standing as an obstacle so that something new, better, can, or better, hopefully better, can be built in its way. I mean, you have free will, so you could just rebuild that same thing that the spirit broke down or tore down, the universe tore down, or you could build something new but has the same vibration as what was torn down before, and it's just going to be torn down again. I mean, the universe, in terms of this, the universe says we have all of eternity to do this with you. So, the choice is yours. You can either keep erecting the same old shit that we keep tearing down for you, or you can actually change and re erect something better this time. That's the energy of the tower. It's destructive, but it's just as creative as it is destructive. Keep that in mind, okay? The tower is coupled with the Seven of Cups. Well, good, okay, I'm seeing, I'm seeing and kind of hearing a bit of a questioning phase. Okay, well, all right, well, if this is brought down, what does this mean? What do we have to do now? There is probably a good amount of confusion here. There's, a, I do feel like there's a lot of darkness around you. You're having to go on faith. And darkness is not a bad thing. Darkness is not a bad thing. Everything, in existence is born out of darkness. Okay? A mother's womb within her body. There's no there's no like physical light in there, all right? There's dark that's darkness in there. Okay? A seed that's planted in the ground is planted in darkness. The all of the, like the, the empty space of you of the universe, the universe itself is devoid of light except for the suns that shine, the balls of fire that shine that light. Darkness is not a bad thing. It might be scary, sure, but that's where the potential for birth comes from. The potential of creation comes from. Is found. I'm sorry, not where it comes from. Is found, okay? So... This actually is a good thing. I do feel like this is a good thing, guys, because with this Tower and the Seven of Cups, I really kind of feel like you're questioning, all right, all right, fine, universe, I heard you, so what does this mean now? What do we have to do? How do we fix this? How do we create something new? What do we even create? These are all good questions to be asking. But you have to rely on faith that the universe will guide you there because it is. I mean, it has no other option. It's just doing its job. And it's not like it's a slave, but that's, that's, the, that's the role of the universe. Ask the question. Ask for the manifestation. Receive the answer. Receive the manifestation. But if you're, if you're in resistance to it, then the universe can't help you, right? Okay. Second set of surrounding energies in the second half of your reading here, Capricorn, you have, ooh, that king of wands again. Confidence. Not gonna let anything get me down. That's what I'm hearing. That's a good thing. And actually, I like that the, the King of Wands is kind of facing this Tower and Seven of Cups here. It's like you have the confidence to face this head on. That's beautiful. If that's not leadership, I don't know what is. Okay? For real, though. Like, for real, for real. This is you, as the King of Wands, this is you embodying the strength and the confidence to take this debt head on. To face the, well, okay to face the problem, but not to face the problem just to keep the momentum of that problem going, to face it in order to say, how do we change this? What does this mean? What is the contrast that I'm experiencing here? What can I do to move away from this? Okay, King of Wands is coupled with the Four of Wands, excellent. You might not know it now, Capricorn, but you are balanced and ready to go. Absolutely. Truthfully, 100%. Truthfully, you have the foundation to do this. Spiritually, energetically, passion-wise, you have the foundation to get this done. The current surrounding circumstances may not really, you, uh, given the current circumstances, you may not agree with me. But energetically, you are well-grounded, well-set, well-founded in order to take this on, to move in this new direction, to do whatever it is you need to do, okay? Your challenge in the second half of your reading here, the differing of opinion, the internal conflict, maybe all the, the too many cooks in the kitchen, five of wands. This also could be your ego fighting you, 
where your heart is saying, come on, let's move in this direction. Spirit is guiding us this way. Your ego might be like, are you crazy? We have no idea what we're getting into. I would say follow your heart with this one. Okay. Uh, five of Wands is coupled with. That's right, the fool, you see? What? We can't take a leap of faith. We can't jump off this cliff. You're crazy. We're going to die. What if there are spikes down there? What if, what if there are rocks down there? What, what? What if we don't fly? Oh, come on. That's just your ego. You are, about, you are embarking on a brand new journey, Cap. Don't let your ego get you down. Don't let your ego stop you. You are well equipped to do this. Closing message or potential outcome in the second half of your reading here, Capricorn. Three of Wands. You're on the right path. And I was saying that when the chariot came out. But now, in my opinion, the Three of Wands has been, lately as a reader, has been a card that says you are on the right path. You're going in the right direction. And whatever that means for you. I mean, it really could literally just be as simple as you made a decision and now you're taking steps to follow through with that decision and the steps that you're taking are the right, are the right ones in terms of getting what it is you've asked for or getting what it is you've chosen to pursue. Three of Wands. Three of Wands is coupled with the Six of Pentacles. Did this come out in the pre-shuffle? I think it did. Maybe it didn't. I don't remember now. But I feel like this is an energy, this is a similar energy. This is, you're on the right path towards uh, maybe a, a better income, um, better business practice, uh, better reciprocity, better balance within the business, better harmony within business or something, whatever we're talking about here. Okay? Business, creative endeavor, whatever. You're on the right path in order to receive better, an even, a more even flow, is what we'll say. Okay? So now let's get to your oracle guidance for the month from the fairies. For my Capricorns, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, what Oracle Guidance do you have for Capricorn Spirit for the month of October? Here it is. <laughs> You have card number 32, which boils down to a five, and fives represent change. Fairy godmother, revelation, discovery, epiphany. Ooh, all right. Oh, <laughs> wrong book, Eric. There we go. Okay, let's try this again. All right. When the fairy godmother comes to you, be aware that this is a time when you'll discover what has been long hidden to you. Your true self will be revealed in surprising ways every day, and sudden moments of heightened perception will make this time especially significant for you. People finally get found out. Manipulators can be seen through. True costs of circumstances are revealed, and any lies about you will be seen. This can be hard, but it is truly a hardship that is born of protection. You are safer for knowing in whom you can trust in order to make the right choices for your soul. Throughout these revelations and insights will be a guiding hand, and this is the fairy godmother. She is showing you what it is you need to know in order to create and foster a life that works for you, and she is, uh, she is a protective force too. So what you need will come to you now, sometimes in very strange ways. Be mindful of counting your blessings at this time, for this is the energy your fairy godmother can draw upon to keep transforming your life into one which, in, 
into one which is more abundant, magical, meaningful, and joyful. Note that every moment of truth, I'm sorry, note every moment of truth. They are all significant and you are better for discovering what was once hidden from you. So there you have it, Capricorn. I hope this was helpful for you. Again, if you'd like a look into your own personal situation, please don't hesitate to email me. All of the information is in the description box below. But with that said, I hope you have a great month and I look forward to connecting with you again for the month of November. Yeah, take care. Mwah. Bye.